My name is David, and I'm an urban farm vet. <laughs> Great. No, I know. Yeah, this is good. All right. So I'm an urban farmer, and normally I would talk about exactly that and the importance of urban farming and the impact it can have on on uh, health and the scalability from very small systems to systems that are actually quite a bit larger. Um, but actually, I want to talk about something completely different, and that's how I raised my children, my wife, and, and introduce them to the wonders of nature, uh, let them run wild and roam free, uh, so they can feel comfortable in far off remote places, to be in awe of its majestic beauty, and to savor each and every moment. And I can tell you one thing is that it's having a very profound effect on them ways that they couldn't possibly imagine, such as building confidence uh, to try completely new things. Uh, last week, or last month, we actually climbed a rock that's taller than this building, they're five and six years old, uh, to stick their toes in the icy waters. And they're completely comfortable getting their hands wet, I promise you. And so when we started growing food at home in water, uh, in nature, um, for them it was a natural progression. Um, and the more food that we grew at home, well, actually the more they were willing to actually consume it. I don't know any kids that age actually want to eat green smoothies like that. <laughs> and the bigger our plants got, um, the bigger they got. And that's no coincidence, but still, they still wanted to consume those smoothies in the morning. And we've been fortunate to go to far off places and join nature, but nature is all around us. You just have to choose where you want to walk or where you want to ride, or where you want to climb. They are anything but lazy. Uh, they are active participants in many of our community projects, building gardens all over town, regardless of the scale or the design, regardless of the location. Looking for a piece here. Uh, regardless of the purpose of why we grow food. Uh, some of our recent projects in Watts, they grow more food than they know what to do with it there. Um, and I could, basically, this is all my kids know, is that this is a normal life to be active and growing food. And they are still out there uh, with the wind in their hair, adventuring to try new things. They are actually innovators by trying more efficient ways to consume smoothies in the morning. And they actually fight over the last bite of salad that we grow at home at night for dinner. So my message to you is get out, experience nature, because that is the source of everything that we consume. Thank you.